There's an object lesson here, though, and one I believe that should be taken to heart. There is a crisis in communication between men and women. To put it in a nutshell, men lie to women in near pathological fashion, largely telling them what they want to hear and nothing else. That's how the gender pay gap and other feminist myths survived unscathed by the truth. Women, of course, are happy with this arrangement, which is why Sargon, among many others, is on the internet white knighting for them. It's lies in exchange for the illusion of approval. And, of course, the first casualty of that arrangement is respect. Nobody respects anyone who lies to them, even when they insist on being lied to. It's at the root of a lot of marital failure, and it's part and parcel to the decline of the right. The right has fallen and will eventually fail completely, not because a bunch of so-called right-wing Twitter anons pointed to the many real problems coming downstream from the 19th Amendment, or because the average woman wants to have her cake and eat it too, and your cake as well. Rather, it's because not enough right-wing men have the backbone to lead by speaking honestly and calling out destructive garbage when they see it. The women's privilege industry, which crosses all social, racial, and political lines, is the worst wrench that's ever been thrown into the gears of a free society. Women's politics and women's values have become a toxic rot at the core of our social fabric. And not only are so-called right-wing men avoiding an honest assessment of the situation, they're mumbling, yes, dear with the relative boldness of an Oliver Twist character. Either that, or they're out there on the internet telling us all to watch what we say so that women will like us.